All right, Shalom. We we'll start first by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Brachatay Yahweh, Brachatay Yahushai, Brachatay Yahweh, Brachatay Yahushai, Brachatay Yahweh, Brachatay Yahushai. <clears throat> Double honor to the elder apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the house of David the elect, those that will receive salvation. <clears throat> Shalom. Um. A video I always uh, want to make sure it goes out, and plenty of time uh, for uh, Christmas, you know, which is a pagan holiday, according to the Western world, you know, and then I think they they begin to follow it all over the world. But basically, this video is going to be about the image of Santa Claus comes from so-called Jesus or Yahweh Shai, as his name is in ancient Hebrew. And I'm going to show you the scriptures that they uh, have taken from to uh, to get it, right? So I'm going to start with uh, the book of because this has to this has to come out. What better time? Because the Christian church they they still follow after Christmas, and they still haven't understood why Christmas and so called the birth of Jesus was on the same day, you know. Just because, well, real quick, I'll pull this real quick because I, I know what they think. Um, where did it go? Mm -mm -mm. Right here. Um, <coughs> so like, uh, Matthew chapter 2, it says uh, at the top, it says, Now when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. <coughs> says, And when... He had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together. He demanded of them that Yahweh should be born. Where Yahweh should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. New Testament right there. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Talking about Yahweh Shai. Uh, then Herod. So like he says. Uh, then Herod. When he had privately called the wise men. Inquired of them diligently. What time the star appeared. He says. Uh, and he sent them to Bethlehem. And. And said go and search diligently for the young child and when ye have found him bring the word again that I may come and worship him also yeah that's what he said it says when they departed he when they had heard when they had heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. Yeah. It said that was a chariot. But it says, uh, <clears throat> when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And here's a point right here that gives them the belief of Christmas. But this was the birth of Yahweh Shai, right? This is when it was going down. It says, and when they were come into the house, when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts. They presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And that's, that was the point. They, they fell and worshipped the Lord on that day. You know, so now that's, that's the whole gift part they add to it. Now let me go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. I got to, you know, it, it, it's important that we as 
at Great Millstone. We we do it, but you hear Israelites, man. It's, it's important that you guys go into these topics, man, because our people still have these strongholds on them. We got to break these strongholds, and our people still have that on them to uh to believe in Christmas and, and Saint Nicholas and the image of Jesus Christ is a so-called white man, and he's not Yahweh Shai, which has a uh. Uh, a, a white willy beard and dark skin, which I'll be getting into. But uh, Jeremiah chapter ten it says, "Uh, I'm gonna jump straight to three. The point it says, for the custom of the people are vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe, they deck it with silver and gold, they fasten it with nails." And with hammers that it move not. And matter of fact, let me read verse 2. It says, uh, Verse 1 Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. To you talking to you, Israelites. It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And then it goes into the custom of cutting. I'll read it. Through. For the custom of the people are vain, empty. For one cut of the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, an axeman. Right? It says, they deck it with silver and gold. They deck the halls with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails that, and with hammers that it move not. Talk about a Christmas tree, man. They cut a tree and instead of it laying down, they stand it back up and fasten it with nails and stand back up and they decorate it. That's, that's decorating the Christmas tree. So now we have the gifts that go under the Christmas tree because baby Jesus was born. So they, they add this into this gumbo pot of, of pagan wickedness. Then the tree, the worship in the tree, they stand it up with a tree that's cut out the forest to put it up inside their houses and decorate it. Here's the tree decorations. Now the image, uh, now the image of the Lord. Slash the image of Santa Claus, as they as they put it, right? This is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse. I'm gonna start at verse one and two. Uh, yeah, it says the revelation of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which God Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God, Yahweh, and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the anointed Savior, the Messiah, and of all things that he saw. And all things that he saw. So, John the Revelator saw this. So, we're going to jump straight down to voice. To voice. To verse uh, 13, it says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with the golden girdle. Right? He had the big garment on. Verse 14, here's the Santa Claus, right? It says, His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Look at Santa Claus here. Doesn't he have the white woolly beard? He has the white woolly, he has the white beard, man. The big white beard. It's white as snow. Look at the snow behind him in the image. He has that. It says, uh, and his eyes were at the flame of fire. And that always reminded me of the rosy red cheeks. You know, I don't know where they got that from, but it reminds me of the rosy red cheeks. Right? Unlike the actual image of Yahweh Shai, it says the whites of his eyes were red with wine. Right? And teeth white with milk for you that understand. Verse uh, 15, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a, in a furnace. That's where the black boots come from. The real dark boots, they look, they look like dark brown boots with a, with a brass buckle. That's the color of Yahweh Shai, man. That dark. That's where that comes from. The feet of the, of the image comes from that. Well, well, you got to go a little further than that. If you a skeptic and say, you, you got to go a little further than that to, for me to believe that that's what it's talking about. What about the red suit? Well, 
We're going to go over to the red suit. This is Isaiah chapter 63. I'm going to start at the top. Verse 1 it said, Who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Basra? That, that this that is glorious. And, as a matter of fact, the Santa Claus thing I, I forgot to mention. In the book of Revelation, sound, the voice is the sound of many waters. Well, that voice is the sound of many waters. is the whole, 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 whole coming all the way. You know, through the land when you hear Santa Claus out there delivering his gifts or whatever onto the wicked or onto the righteous. You know? The naughty and the nice list, as they call it, right? Let's see. Uh, well, let me go back onto uh, Isaiah. Looking for something else. But the book of Isaiah has it. Um, so back in the book of Isaiah... I'm going to start 63 and 1 again. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Basra? Two cities in Edom. Edom is the, the, the Edomites, which is generally you so-called white people. You know, not the confusion of faces that may look white or Caucasian or whatever that are Israelites. You know, on and on. Anyway, um, it says, this is, this is that glorious in his apparel traveling in the greatness of his strength in the in that speaking in righteousness might to say mighty to save therefore thou art red in thine apparel there you go red in thy garments man red in thine apparel there you go and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat I meaning dark red a lot of red because of the, of the of the wine the wine fat the blood of the grape gets on there when you're making wine. You're stepping that out. A la, uh, I love Lucy when she was stand, standing in the wine press. Right? How how it stains your garments, stains your clothes. And he's supposed to have a white a white uh, robe on, right? And then the blood stains it from all the killing he's going to be doing. Anyway, verse 3, it says, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. That's how I became red, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my recompense, so excuse me, of my redeemed is come. So that's how you know it's talking about the red garments of Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's the redeemer, you know. And that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much the whole breakdown of, of Santa Claus. Uh, damn pagan worship. The church created this dude. I didn't I didn't go into the, the deep history of Santa Claus. Maybe I'll run across a video and repost it or something. You know, let somebody else go into that. But just real quick to bring out the image of Santa Claus was stolen from who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shai. Straight out the Bible, man. So with that, we'll close out, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Double honor to the elder apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well over the flock. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the house of David, the elect, those that will receive salvation. Shalom.